Hey guys, I'm Cameron Comenti with 3C Guiding. Today I'm here at Zebros and we're going to show you how to install the s &E module support on the Skidoo Gen 4. Your kit, you have a back s &E module brace and a front ENS module brace. In the 2018 Skidoo put a brace in, so you will not be using the back brace. The front brace will go in on the inside after you've removed the pipe can. In the kit, you'll also get side plates for the bulkhead that go on the outside of the sled to tie everything together. The last piece would be the skid plate that just uh, beefs up the bottom of the sled more. All right, now I'm going to install the front brace plate. It is tight, but that's why it makes this kit so good. Keeping everything tight where it goes. We've used some clamps to hold it in place. There is a pretty good weld by Scudier right here, so it is kind of hard to get that totally flush, but the rivets will pull it in and we're going to start drilling. You'll be adding five rivets to this plate from the inside. In the kit, you got some 0.25 inch steel rivets. I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop a couple of these in and finish drilling. Using an air riveter is usually the easiest way to do this. Now I can undo the clamps and finish drilling the last hole. Now we have our plate installed with our five rivets and we're ready to move on to the side plates. I've already taken out the shock and now I'm going to take off the upper A arm to install the left hand plate. Now you're going to hook the side plate to the A arm with the bolts. Slide it in. You do have to fight it a little bit, but once it lines up, it goes in easily. Next, we'll drill these two holes here and these two holes here. They will connect to the inner brackets and make everything tie together. I put a bar in here holding the edge of the plate over just so that uh, when we drill through it doesn't bend it out. In these four holes you use the medium size rivets for this and we got the first four rivets in. Now you can finish drilling the rest and use the short rivets in the rest of these holes.
got all the rivets in place. Now it's time to do it on the other side. You can tighten up your bolts and then reinstall your shock. Now that you got all the brace in, now you can just put your exit shocks back in. Now we're gonna install the skid plate that comes in the kit. You'll have to drill out two rivets here and take out the four 10 millimeter bolts back here. There's rivet holes pre-drilled in this. Just drill them out. There's nothing that you can hit above them and you'll use the long rivets that was in the package to install this. Always put the rear bolts finger tight in first so that then when you put in the front rivets you don't have to fight with holding on to the plate. Go ahead and tighten up the back bolts, then drill out all the other holes and install the long rivets. Skid plates all on, ready to go ride. There you go, it's the full installation of the Zebros ENS module support for the Gen 4. Check out their website at zebrosracing.com for more uh, products.